Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is a New York City vlog. I have not vlogged in so long and I'm super excited to show you around New York because right now it's Christmas time and all of the trees, the Christmas decorations, the Christmas markets, ice skating, everything is on full swing. So Al and I, we are gonna go head out, go to the Christmas markets, have some Christmas cocktails. But first I wanna share with you my makeup routine. I got so many questions in my other YouTube videos and I wanna thank many Merit for sponsoring this part of the video. Merit Beauty is a clean, cruelty-free, luxury, minimalist beauty brand, and every order ships in their signature bag, which is super cute, and they do offer free shipping over $40, and everything that I'm showing will be linked down below in that description box. So I'm gonna start off with their Minimalist Complexion Stick. This is neither a foundation or a concealer. It kind of replaces both in your makeup bag. It has a light to medium buildable coverage, but it still leaves your skin looking like skin. So wherever I want coverage, I can just add it with the minimalist stick. You can see it goes on so beautifully. Great thing about this is that you can get other shades in this stick and you can kind of create your own contouring. So it is a multi-use product. And I'm gonna blend everything with their brush number one. This is an amazing blending brush because it seamlessly blends in your product, which I love. And you don't have to use a lot of product. You can definitely just spot treat the places that you want to cover. And if you were ever worried about products like clogging up your pores, giving you acne, all of Merit's products are far formulated without any acne triggering products. So that is just one layer of the minimalist stick. As you can see, my skin just has such a natural glowy look. If you want to achieve that no makeup makeup look, this stick, look how beautiful this is. This next product is by far one of my favorite blushes on the entire market. I'm obsessed with their flush balm. This is a cream tint that just melts on your skin beautifully. And I actually have this from last year. They did change their packaging. And I wanna share with you that this is completely gone. This is my go-to blush. I now I have it in their new packaging and this is the shade Beverly Hills. You can see the color is just so beautiful and it literally just melts into your skin. You can also blend this out with your fingers as well. As you can see this cheek color just has a beautiful glow to it. Next I have their contour stick. This is going to add in that beautiful bronzy look and it's not too heavy so you're not going to cover up your skin. It's not going to look too cakey on and again you can blend it with your fingers or the number one brush and it just gives you a beautiful glow. I now I'm gonna add some glow with their day glow. This is in the shade Bounce and it has a beautiful rose gold tint to it. So I'm just gonna apply it where the light naturally hits my skin. I also love the dewy finish of this as well. I feel like it makes your skin look so natural. It kind of gives you a glow from within rather than it having like glitter on top. I'm gonna go in with their Clean Lash Mascara. This mascara lifts and lengthens your lashes and this also removes very easily. You don't have to rub to get this off. And to finish off, look, I'm gonna add in some lipstick. I have two favorite shades from Merit. I love Baby and Millennial. Those are my two favorite, but today I'm gonna use the shade Millennial. This is a hydrating lipstick, so it's not gonna leave your lips dry. And the Millennial shade is just a classic pink shade. It goes on so easily. It's very moisturizing. You're not gonna feel like dry lips at all. And this is the finish Merit look. Look, it's such a beautiful natural look and it's so easy to do. You can do a look in under five minutes if you wanted. And Merit does have sets on their website where you can save 15% off. I love the five minute face set because I feel like it gives you all of your essentials. My favorites down below in that description box. And Merit also makes a great holiday gift and it also is the perfect gift for yourself. Be sure to purchase before the shipping cuts off for the holiday season. And now I am all ready to explore New York. So let's go. So we've made it to Union Square and we're gonna check out the Christmas market here. It's one of my favorites and it's been rated one of the top in the US. We always love going here. There's also another one in Bryant Park, but the one in Union is my favorite because I feel like Union Square feels like home to me. I lived in the East Village for many years. So whenever I'm back here, it always feels like I'm back home. So let's go check out the Christmas market.
we're gonna go get some apple cider and maybe some apple cider donuts. I feel like we have to while we're here. Large cider and more Let's try this out. This is so good. Like you said, it's the perfect temperature for drinking. It makes me feel like it's the hot. So we walked through the Christmas market. It's pretty busy. I think it's always busy though. So keep it in mind if you plan on coming to the Union Square one. But they have like jewelry shop, different like food vendors, a lot of jewelry I would say. Like handmade soaps, then unique finds. Everything's pretty much like handmade, so it's a really good place to get like unique gifts. We're finally now gonna taste these donuts. These are really good. I think if they were warmed up, they would be even better. Oh god. Uh, we're gonna go inside. Petco for no reason. Is this not I can't do the audio, right? No, you cannot. the market and now we're gonna do some shopping I got some Levi now I want to get a bow at J crew they have a cute little bow with a rhinestone on it and I want to get it <laughs> look how fun this is We just had drinks at this Christmas bar. It's called Lil's Victorian Establishment. It's right on 17th Street, and I've lived in New York for 12 years, and this is my first time ever visiting like a Christmas bar, and they also have a happy hour, which I recommend going to. We didn't have a reservation. We just had the bar, but I believe in December it does get pretty busy. Now we are gonna go up Broadway, do some shopping. Walking in the cold. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely got a lot colder. I think we can walk. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we almost got a tap. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. We're headed up Broadway to go to Christmas Market in Bryant Park.
cappuccino because it's so cold out. I forgot my gloves and I feel like a, a coffee right now would be amazing, especially after those two old fashions that I had. They were kind of strong. So I'm gonna get myself a little cappuccino at Bread's Bakery and then we're gonna walk down Fifth Avenue to see these Saks Light Show. favorite building on Fifth Avenue is Cartier. Every year they have it like decked out. This year though, I feel like they could have gone a bit extra. It's looking a little minimal. In the end, anyway, it's still beautiful, stunning building on Fifth Avenue. outside we actually have not ate anything except those donuts so we're gonna go get some dinner right now on the upper west side the bread is warm made my coffee and the hardest part is making it look good i mean i have a ton of respect for baristas because this is so like the designs like i don't know how they do that i could do a line like that i could do that that's a, that's as much as i could do so here i go here is my oat milk latte with some brown sugar syrup. I made this myself, which is brown sugar and water. It's kind of watery though, so it's not too sugary, but I do that when I wanna have a specialty coffee in the morning. Yesterday was so much fun walking around. Went to a few different stores and I did pick up these from J. Crew. Got this cute little velvet bow with the rhinestones on it. I think this is so adorable for like the holidays Put it like with a half pony i feel like it's just very feminine and very cute and then i also got these bow clips which my hair is so thin they had a bigger bow and i was like my hair is not like big enough to have a big bow in it so i got these like little rhinestone pins which i feel like could be a cute look for something like that which let me know if you've ever been to new york during the christmas time i know it's really popular but i will say this i've been living in new york for 12 years now and i feel like it i feel like it's just now become like a really big thing i remember going to the christmas market years ago and it wasn't that busy i don't know if it's a new thing but it seems like christmas in new york is just a whole other level so it's very very busy very fun still but i was just kind of surprised like how many how like how big of a thing it has become and it's funny because al and i we were actually gonna go to germany this december for the christmas markets but we kind of were looking at it too late as we were looking at the flight and the hotels and everything it was gonna be pretty expensive and i was just thinking i don't want to fly out all the way to germany 
to be like stuck in a really crowded Christmas market. Do you know what I'm saying? We're not going to Germany, but we have a lot of travel plans coming up. So stay tuned. I know I haven't done a lot of travel videos lately. Reminds me, I just got a package in from Amazon and I got some new goodies in. I have the Amazon box right here. I picked up this new swimsuit because I'm going on a cruise. I'm not sure if I'm gonna vlog it because it's only two days and it's like a media cruise. So it's we're not stopping anywhere, but it's for the new ship of Celebrity Cruises. So we're gonna see what it's like. I think it's very similar to Beyond. I was looking at the layout of the ship. It looks very similar to the Beyond ship. We're only on the ship for one full day but we're gonna see everything. So I'm definitely gonna do like stories. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, be sure to follow me over on Instagram because I'm definitely doing stories for the cruise. I decided to pick up this new swimsuit off of Amazon. It's a one piece pink swimsuit. I love this square cut neckline of it because I feel like a lot of swimsuits are a V-neck. The back has a cute little back detail. Really affordable. I love this hot pink color. It's kind of giving like Barbie vibes. I do have some other goodies inside. Let's do an impromptu unboxing of the funnies teaspoon set because, oh, they're falling all over the place. So for coffee in the morning, to like stir in honey. I don't have honey in my coffee, but Al loves honey in his coffee. So I got these cute little black spoons, like teaspoon spoons, a bit more stylish. I don't need to use like an actual like spoon for that. And I picked up an earring for myself. I love Amazon jewelry, by the way. I feel like there are so many good jewelry finds on Amazon. And from my experience of wearing them, none of them have like tarnished on me that badly. So the quality is there and the price point is pretty incredible. I just got these tiny studs that have a flat back because I have, I have second, third, and fourth hole piercings. But I never wear any jewelry on them because regular backs just like always hurt my ears. So these have a nice flat back. So it's just a tiny little stud with a flat back. So I'm gonna try these out. They have really good reviews and I just don't like having my ears hurt so much. Oh, I got a pair of shoes. I'm gonna be featuring this in one of my videos coming up on the channel. So I'll just give you a sneak peek though because I got these red heels, perfect for the holiday. And you guys, they have a beautiful little bow on them. They're pretty high though, I'm not gonna lie, but they're really pretty. More teaspoons, did I accidentally order two? I accidentally ordered two teaspoon sets. Fun, a return. Okay, so then I got these black hair bows. I'm in this like accessorizing moment. These are just two velvet bows for your hair. Now these are a much smaller size than the ones from J. Crew. J. Crew big bow was so big. My head is too small for that. So this is like a perfect size that I feel like that you could just put in your hair. It just makes your like it makes your outfit a bit more festive. And I think there's just one more packet. I believe these are a pair of boots. We have a little fun package in from Tom's. This candle is flying around. It says, it smells like a change of plans in a hot cup of cocoa. Mmm, smells so good. This is from a brand called Antidote Candles. First, we have a cute little wedge booty. Then, we have something small. Nice, we have a pair of sunglasses. The five minute journal, I'm actually super excited for this. I've always seen this on social media and I never had it, so I'm really pumped for that. And then we have some Tom's glittered tights. So I feel like I never knew Tom's had other things other than their shoes, so a really nice package in from Tom. I was actually not expecting that package in from Tom's, but very, very cute. The house right now is a complete mess. But I kind of prefer to kind of clean up the house when it's super messy and have like a big transformation. I'll put on a podcast, zone out and clean up. So that's what I'm probably going to do. And besides the cruise that Al and I are going on, we're also going to another top destination in the US in December. And then we have some really exciting plans for next year. I'm not sure if I should say it now or should we do like a little reveal, but basically Al and I, 
we've always wanted to do a longer term travel instead of going for a place for like two weeks or a week we wanted to like stay in one place for let's say a month so we are doing that it's not in the u.s so i will not tell you where but i'm very excited there's going to be a lot of content from there and it's just going to be a really cool like cultural experience i don't speak the language i just want to be immersed in a fully new kind of culture so that's what we're going to do we have our plans set we don't have we're going to be there for a month i'm super excited for it but in the meantime i'm definitely just getting through the rest of this year tonight i'm actually headed to an event and then we're going on a fun little boat cruise around the city so i'm going to relax clean up and then i will check in later i do want to share with you my christmas tree before we head out this is my minimalist neutral color christmas tree this is a really small narrow size i actually got this on amazon and it wasn't too expensive at all including these other like ornaments also last year i did dried oranges but I actually threw those away because I'm not sure how long they last and I was afraid that they would mold or attract rodents. So I threw those away. I think it's still really pretty and minimal. I'll show you at later when it's all dark out. And I just love also these little ribbons on it. I think it's just a really cute touch. Let me know down below what kind of theme your Christmas tree is. Do you have ornaments from all over? Do you have a color theme? Do you do like where you traveled from? Let me know down below in the comments. Headed out for some holiday events in the city and I'm gonna be wearing my Walmart top. Sorry for the lighting. The lighting now, it gets so dark at like 4.30. And so it's just about to be 4.30 and my light is leaving. But anyway, I'm wearing this Walmart top. You know, I love this top. I will leave it linked down below as well as these Abercrombie faux leather straight leg pants. I'm gonna be wearing these leather boots. These are from Andre Asus. And I'm telling you, these are the most comfortable boots that you can walk around in. As you can see, they're not too high. And I feel like it just dresses up the look while still being comfortable and warm. So I'm gonna throw these on. to the West Village. I love going to events in the West Village because this neighborhood is the cutest neighborhood, in my opinion, in New York. And I've headed to an event for Bagalini, which they have really cool, unique, like travel bags. You can find them on Amazon too. So I'm gonna see what they have new for the upcoming travel season and have some cocktails. And the event is at that corner restaurant. It's so cute inside. to my next event. I'm going on a Circle Line cruise holiday party around New York City. I wanted to vlog more at the other event, but it was, I saw two friends that I knew, photos being taken. I got this cute little backpack monogram, which is a travel backpack. So I'm super pumped for that because I always love trying out like travel carry-on bags. I do not vlog a lot, but if you do, Honking, honking, honking. <laughs> Trying to like vlog in New York is a bit hard. There's some challenges. You know, I'm on the West Side Highway, so I feel like there's a lot of noises. Is there a bus coming? Oh my God. <laughs> bags that you can use when you're in your destination, like small crossbody bags. So I will leave a few options linked down below if you're interested in some travel bags. But Al is meeting me. He's coming soon and we're gonna head on the boat.
We've made it on board. Al's with me. Getting on this really cool holiday themed boat. boat. <laughs> and we're going to get a drink. The bar's a little busy, but we're going to have a fun two hour cruise. And there's a raffle. Hopefully, we win tickets to see the Rockettes. such a fun time on the boat when you go and see new york from a different perspective i feel like it makes me fall in love a bit more with new york just because it's good to like get away and come back to sometimes when you're in the city it feels just like you kind of are in this weird bubble it's hard to explain but once you once you leave new york and come back i feel like that's when you appreciate it a bit more but there goes my new york vlog i hope you enjoyed this vlog i have not vlogged lately i know leave a comment down below if you have made it this far in the video if you have leave a comment down below of your favorite christmas movie i would love to know What's your favorite Christmas movie? Mine is Elf. It makes me actually like laugh out loud. I think it's hilarious. So leave a comment down below of what is your favorite Christmas movie. As I said before, there's lots of travel coming up. Stay tuned for that on the channel. I hope you guys have an awesome week and I will see you in the next one.